Hey everybody, Z Garcia here. Today I'm going to be comparing two versions of Reiner Knizia's classic bidding game, Raw. And we have here the brand new printing of the game from Windrider Games. And then next to it, uh, an older version, over 10 years old now, printed by a company named Uberplay. So I'm going to be taking a look at both, telling you, uh, as I'm showing you the components also, what I think of the new printing as compared to this previous printing here. So first thing we have is obviously the box size. The new one is in the Ticket to Ride standard square box. The older one is uh, much smaller than that, at least uh, I would say 30% smaller than that. And I like the size of the old one simply because I don't like wasted space. Uh, and in this one, it, there's going to be certainly some empty room in there. However, the looks of the games, I find the new one, the new one's cover to be very, very attractive. It's uh, technically a very well done illustration. The uh, lettering looks great. The whole cover has a very majestic look to it, whereas the old one is a lot simpler, but it is a lot brighter. And I'm going to be touching on that simpler but brighter concept a lot more when I get to some of the uh, other components, all right? But let's uh, stop talking about the cover and let's take a look at the boards. So here's what the board looks like for the new printing. It's a very attractive board. I definitely like the look of it. There's even some engraving on it, some relief printing on it which is probably the least useful feature in a board game ever, but it is kind of cool the first time you discover it. But the, the board itself has very little in the way of information. It does not um, give you a lot of detail, except, I mean, the only piece of information on this board is that you stop here with two players, three, four, and five players. The other board is much brighter, much more cartoony, but it does give you scoring information down here and here, and really all this game needs is the track, the track here, and then that space there in the middle where you're going to be putting a token. This one did not have the two players, and this one does, and it uh, accommodates for not having the scoring printed right on there by giving every player one of these. So it's fine, it's not that the game is missing that information, it just sort of compounds the problem that the box is now bigger, and yet this board could have been much smaller, because it's largely unused space. Uh, this one at least had this information on it, so it's a little bit easier to justify the board needing to be that big, and this one just doesn't have any of that on it. All of this is pretty much uh, uh, just wasted space, really. So here are the tiles for both versions. The new ones are across the top, the older ones across the bottom. I, I thought the artwork in the new one was very, technically very well done. The cover, as I said before, is gorgeous, but these tiles, I have a really hard time differentiating them from one another because the, uh, the colors are so muted. Everything is just some shade of blue or green or gray, and it all looks the same, you know. Uh, in the old version, it is very easy to tell the difference between, you know, that and that tile, for example. Whereas the new ones are both just murky blue-green shades, and from across the table, it's a little bit harder to tell what you're looking at. The monuments are especially problematic when it comes to that because they all use the same colors. And the buildings that they show are, are just really difficult to tell apart from one another. You have to make sure you are careful. I have at least one time purchased a tile that I, that I, when I thought I was getting something else. I, I have acquired a tile and then realized, oh wait, this is not what I wanted, you know, because they all just sort of blend together for me. So our style is solid, but I do not like these new tiles uh, compared to the old ones. The symbol for what tiles you keep from each epoch is, is, is great. I like that they put the nice big symbol on there. In the old ones, it was this tiny little symbol in the corner, which was not ideal, but at least I could tell what I was uh, bidding on with the look of the old tiles. They were very uh, bright, 
and it's it's very simple and very easy to see hey this is a flooded Nile versus the not flooded Nile and nothing sort of you know this tile here has some river work on it as well so it confuses me a little bit with the other uh, river tiles so that was uh, that I would say that is one of my big issues with the new printing of the game now when it comes to the bag that the tiles sit in I prefer the new bag over the old one no contest it's much nicer obviously branded feels better and the old one was just sort of very bland and this could have been anything whereas now uh, they took the trouble to make sure it fits the game a little bit better so I like the new bag. The new money and the new raw bidding token are also very very nice compared to the old ones especially the money it is uh all looks very nicely printed it all looks like a chunk of gold whereas the old one they were going for a tablet motif and while the fronts were fine the backs of the towels were very bland so I like the new ones better and then the new bidding towel is a 3d plastic piece which is fine and it's it's it works well the idea is to have something chunky you can grab and place in front of yourself though the old one worked very well it looked good but again single-sided printing meant that it was sort of you know bland on the one side so I prefer both the money and the new raw token in the new printing last thing I'll be showing you here is the bidding tokens the new ones are uh, cardboard cutouts they're very nicely printed easy to read they are printed on both sides so these work just fine they are not problematic I just for me I like my original tokens a little bit better they were wooden pieces they had a nice clink to them the backs looked good the fronts looked good they again were very easy to read and legible and so I just prefer those because of the quality that it sort of feels quality when you have them on your player board versus these new ones the new ones have a nice size to them they work well I just uh, thought for the size of the box that they would have stepped up and done something similar to the old uh, method of, of uh, bidding you know these old tokens so that's basically it so that's the new printing of raw versus the old uber pre uber play printing of it i uh i have to say i prefer my old uber play version of this game the new one has technically gorgeous cover has a a very nice board but i feel functionality sort of took a little bit of a hit in the new one especially when it comes to those tiles i have a real problem with the look of the new tiles so uh, for me, I'll be sticking with the new one, but if you do not have raw, if you uh, did not find an issue with the tiles, if you thought they looked fine on the screen, then I would say go ahead and check out the new one. The game is a classic. It's a wonderful game. And uh, this new version, there is, uh, if you don't have an issue with the colors and the printing, there's certainly nothing else that I, I would say is wrong with it. So uh, check it out. For me, though, as I said, I'll be sticking with my old version. So that has been a compare and contrast of these two versions of Raw. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com.